My name is Wendy Archer and I'm your host for Bubbles of Love Day DFW. Just a small background on me. I have lived in South Lake for 13 years and I have three children, Lauren who is 21, Rachel who is 17, and Clayton who is 15. I'd like to tell you a little bit about today and about today's event. Parental Alienation Awareness Day was created and is supported by Parental Alienation Awareness Organization. The mission of Parental Alienation Awareness Organization is to educate the public and professionals about the prevention of and responses to parental alienation, parental alienation behaviors, and hostile aggressive parenting. Parental Alienation Awareness Organization is a great organization and I encourage you to visit their website at www.paawareness.com. Something that I would like you to know is that parental alienation can happen to anyone so it should matter to everyone. Today is the sixth annual Parental Alienation Awareness Day around the globe. It is also Bubbles of Love Day around the globe. You see, parental alienation is a global epidemic. Parental alienation is not a gender issue. There are alienated ultimate soccer moms and alienated ultimate hero dads all around the world. Although this is the sixth annual Parental Alienation Awareness Day, this is the first time an event has been planned in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Now everybody knows that everything is bigger in Texas, including Bubbles of Love Day. Again, this is the sixth annual Parental Alienation Awareness Day and Bubbles of Love Day around the globe, and this is the first Bubbles of Love Day event ever planned in Dallas-Fort Worth. But this event today is the largest Bubbles of Love Day event ever in the history of the event, anywhere in the world. This event has been going on for six years all around the world, and our first year, we have the biggest Bubbles of Love Day event ever anywhere in the world, right here in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. <laughs> Proving that everything really is bigger in Texas. I first want to thank the city of Southlake and the shops of Southlake for their amazing support for this event. When they asked me how many people I predicted would attend, I said about 30. And in a few minutes, we will have about 200 people here today. The support this event has received has exceeded my wildest imagination. When I started planning the event, I never would have dreamed we would have 200 people here today. This event has received local and national and global support and recognition. I firmly believe that the support and recognition this event has received makes it clear that it is time for parental alienation awareness. We ask mayors all over Dallas-Fort Worth if they would sign proclamations declaring today Parental Alienation Awareness Day and Bubbles of Love Day. And they didn't just say yes, they were excited about it. I have received wonderful emails and phone calls from mayors and city council members and city secretaries telling me how much they support this event. Trophy Club got so excited that April at Trophy Club called me last Thursday and told me that Trophy Club had decided to have their own Bubbles of Love Day event. I thought, whoops, I thought, that's lightning interfering. Uh-oh. Be good. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay. When they told me... Try again. Try again? Okay. okay. Hold on. I'll get you back on. They're all unique. 
very special. Gwen City even put bubbles on their proclamation. There were many special moments associated with these proclamations, but I want to share just one with you today. Joanne from the City of Keller called me, told me that Mayor McGrail was very excited about Bubbles of Love Day. Joanne told me that she makes every proclamation special, but that this proclamation, the proclamation for Bubbles of Love Day DFW, was extra, extra special to her. She said when she read it, it really touched her heart. You see, Joanne's life has been touched by parental alienation for 30 years. I cried when I hung up the phone after talking to Joanne. Although I had volunteers to pick up the proclamations, I knew I had to pick up the proclamation from Joanne myself, and I'm really glad I did. I got to meet Joanne and give her a hug, and yes, I cried when I got back into my car at Keller City Hall. But over and over again, people said the same thing. My family has dealt with parental alienation, or I know someone who has dealt with parental alienation. So thank you to all of the mayors and city council members and city secretaries who didn't just say yes to supporting the event, but were excited and passionate about it. I'd like to let everyone know that we did not ask for any donations for this event, yet people came forward on their own saying their hearts told them to donate to this event. I'd like to thank our corporate sponsor, Corinthian Wellness Spa. Corinthian Wellness Spa donated printing services and 200 bottles of bubbles. For those of you who don't know, the Corinthian companies are committed to donating to worthy causes, and we are sincerely appreciative that Corinthian feels that this is a worthy cause. There were several families and uh, individuals who donated time, talent, and money to today's event. Thank you to Helen Gay Brown for a financial donation. An individual who wished to remain anonymous made a financial donation. I can tell you that she's a very good person and a very dear friend. I feel confident that keeps her identity safe as I'm blessed to have a lot of friends like that. Susan Keckler of the Keckler Law Firm donated 300 bubbles to South Lake and also 50 bubbles to Trophy Club. Susan isn't just my attorney, Susan is a very dear friend. Susan always does the right thing, regardless of what other people do or what's popular. She does the right thing, period. For this reason, Susan and I have gone through an amazing experience together, and words will never be able to express my gratitude to her. Terry with OurGreatCity.com would not let me say her last name, even though I promised not to butcher it, but she still told me I could not say her last name. If you don't know Terry with OurGreatCity.com, you should definitely meet Terry. She's sweet and down to earth, and she knows everybody. If you need your business promoted, you need to talk to Terry about OurGreatCity.com. The Irmish family of South Lake, a few days ago I got a phone call from Julia Irmish, who I've never met in my life. Julia called me and said she'd been hearing about the event and that her heart told her to donate to the event. The Irmish family of South Lake made a very generous donation to today's event. The Altimos family are the owners of TBS Lawn Care, and I want to give them a plug. If you need lawn care, you need to call TBS. I try to do business with people I think have integrity and good character, and that's important to me. And they're not just good business, they're good people. I can tell you they have hearts of gold, and they're very special people. Dave, Leslie, and literally their entire family has donated time and talent and financially to today. There are several volunteers here today who have helped throughout the process. Pam Bassler, Mary Katie Johnson, um, and if I forgot anyone, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, I want to thank Jill Ajisi. She's an amazing advocate, mentor, and friend. She's the president of Parental Alienation Awareness Organization. There is one very special recognition that I want to give today. This person is sweet and funny and truly one of the kindest and most caring people you'll ever meet. And people always tell me that she's adorable. And she is. <laughs> Unfortunately, when a child is alienated from a parent, they are also alienated from that entire side of the family. Aunts, uncles, cousins, friends, and grandparents. Think about how much grandparents love their grandkids and vice versa. How special it is to be a grandparent. How special it is to have a grandparent to love. Grandma and Grandpa give hugs, read special stories, feed you ice cream for dinner, and other wonderful things that only a grandparent can do. Grandparents are so special, but there are thousands of grandparents who don't get to hug their grandchildren, who don't get to read them stories, who don't get to feed them ice cream for dinner anymore. Alienated grandparents suffer and sacrifice so much. It is so cruel. Today, my mom represents alienated grandparents. There's really no way to give my mom the recognition she deserves. All I can say is thank you, mom, for being the best mom and grandma any family could have. Thank you. I want to skip ahead to what I was going to close.
clothes with because the rain looks really scary. Um, <laughs> uh, again, I want to say thank you for being here. Please know your participation means so much to alienated families. As you blow bubbles today, notice how much joy is giving the children that are here. And think about that all children need and deserve to feel joy in their relationships with both of their parents. You might blow bubbles today in honor of all alienated children everywhere, or you might have someone special in your heart that you're blowing bubbles in honor of. My daughter Lauren used to call me several times a day, every single day. That's how close we were. A few weeks ago, Lauren emailed me and told me she was seeing me when she was in South Lake this weekend. The weekend came and the weekend went. Today marks the 634th day that I have not seen my daughter Lauren. That's one year, eight months, and 26 days. So today I blow bubbles in honor of my children, Lauren, Rachel, and Clayton. I love you unconditionally with all of my heart, always and forever, no matter what.